Well, a tough topic coming up. Our guest has a message of hope after setting a date to take his own life. Now he wants others to find value and tune out societal standards, that conversation after the break. Nearly two decades ago, our next guest set a date to take his own life. A good career, plenty of money, a girlfriend too. Dr. Dane here seemed to have everything he ever wanted, but was still deeply depressed. Now he shares his message of self-acceptance with people all over the world. Please welcome him to our studio. Welcome. We are glad you're here with us it's today. Great to be here. Thank we're you. glad you're alive Me today too. because, my goodness, you were at a dark hour. A what? Very... Let's go back to what was going on. Why? You set that date, and then the most important part, what made you change that date and get rid of it completely? Well, I think that's really the message, yes. you know, is the possibility. Um, I, you know, looked like I had the perfect life from the outside. I was starting my second practice, had the perfect girlfriend, and I had been depressed for the better part of three years. I had almost not woken up happy in the better part of three years, and I literally set a date. I said, universe, help. Either I get happy and my life changes truly, or I'm out of here. And I put a date, six months in the future. And I had been trying every technique, reading every book I could. None of it would last for longer than a couple days. I saw an ad in the local paper, as luck would have it, for something called Access Consciousness Bars. Well, I lived in California, so I do all kinds of weird stuff. And I went and I had a session, thinking nothing was going to change. And it's this light touch technique on the head. So I lay down on a table, some woman I don't know puts her hands on my head, an hour and 15 minutes later, and I'd gone into that session depressed and suicidal, an hour and 15 minutes later I got up with a sense of gratitude for being alive, and I went, if it can feel this way, I'm in. Wow. And it quite literally saved my life. Now, I'm not saying that happens for everybody, mm -hmm. but the fact that it happened for me, I'm eternally grateful. And making the choice to live is one of the greatest choices I've ever made. Wow. Why do you think that there is such an epidemic of suicide in our country right now? It seems like the awareness level has increased. Yes. But what are we missing? I think what we're missing is we tend to have this massive social isolation in this constant state of judgment of us. So we have social media that is supposed to connect us, but really we don't have many interpersonal connections. We have online connections, but in that venue, everybody is trying to compare to everybody else. So there's that. And then there's also a sense of, you know, watch the news. You see that it looks like the future is going down instead of up. And what I'm here to say is we can create a different possibility and we have the choice, we just need to choose. You have all kinds of ideas for people if they're going through this or if they have a loved one going through it. And it seems like everybody does mm -hmm. these days. So where right. do we begin? What do you suggest? Well, first we need to get over the stigma of talking about it and asking mm -hmm. for help, number one. Number two, if you know somebody who's going through it, you wanna reach out to them and just say, hey, are you okay? I'm here. If there's anything you need, I'm here. And then I have to suggest the access consciousness bars, which we found that it decreases stress, anxiety, and depression by 85%, starting with one session. Mm. And so there are practitioners around the world that are offering these sessions for free. And that's another possibility. I've never even heard of that. Is that available here locally? Yep. It is. Yeah. Yeah, we have uh, about 50,000 people around the world doing this. Hmm. Oh my How goodness. interesting. We'll have to look yeah. more into that for sure. You also suggest get your body moving. We know yes. exercise can can help the, the yes. brain. And you also say really get in tune with how you're feeling and ask yourself, who are, who are these, these thoughts belong to? Yeah, because one of the things that we found is if you've ever walked into a room where somebody's sad and you start getting sad, a lot of the stuff that we think is ours actually isn't. We pick it up from other people. And we know this. If you've ever been in a relationship and your partner was upset, you know it and you call them, you're like, is something wrong? Mm -hmm. Well, we do this with everybody though. And if you'll ask, who does this belong to? When you have that weird monkey mind going mm -hmm. on, if it lightens up at all, it's not yours. That's all you need to know. Just return it to whoever it belongs to. It's the way to begin to empty your mind of 98% of the stuff that isn't yours. Yeah, the energy has, uh, there's so many things going on with energy mm -hmm. in our room. I absolutely agree with that. Okay, what else can we do to make ourselves feel lighter? I mean, you always hear laughter is the best medicine. Yes, like that can help? Abs absolutely. You know, you want to watch inspirational movies and also hang out with happy, inspirational people. Mm -hmm. When you hang out with judgmental people, you start going into a downward mm -hmm. spiral because we align and agree with them. 
them and try to go down into their world and what they're talking about. Hmm. I love that you say, uh, never give up, never give in to your feelings. You, yes. can, you can choose to live. Yes, never give up, never give in, never quit. And the other thing I like to tell people is please take two more steps. Because it, you, it truly is darkest just before the dawn. And in that place where we think it's the worst it's ever gotten, if we take two more steps, we find something that opens up like this, but we had to go through that to get there. Well, it's great information. You always say, call a professional, seek help. If yes. you can't, just, just keep yourself alive, whatever yes, it takes. Yes, absolutely. Right, Good Thank message you. to share today. Very, yeah. very powerful. Thank you both so much. Thanks. Good to see you.